All right, I've made it down to the beach. It's April 28th. We're still under lockdown. Um, there's some people out here on the beach. They say you can come down for exercise and stuff. Well, that's what we're doing today. Today we're going to exercise with the Mind Lab Equinox 600. The metal detector is about the only exercise machine I know of that pays you to use it. So anyways, yeah, we're going to give it a shot. Low tides, still a little, little ways off. I'm wearing dive boots today because a lot of people fish down here. It's really hard to get a place to park. Um, they've got all the parking lots closed, so... There's a few of the smaller lots that are open. And most of them are full of cars. This one I finally found. There's like four parking spaces, so... I was able to get one, so... Um, yeah, we'll see. See how we do here, I don't know. This is more of a fishing area, so I'm wearing dive boots because I figure there'd be more fish hooks and stuff than what I usually get up around Daytona. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna try to see what we can find out here. And I'll get back to you on the first target, unless the safety guy over here in the red truck makes me leave. And if that's the case, then it'll be a pretty short video. Anyways, let's see how we do. I'll be back on the first target. Twenty-four, twenty-five. Right here on the edge. Here comes the water. I don't want to get wet yet because I don't want to work some of this dry sand. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to get wet. Maybe not. Let's do it quick here and see what we get. Still there. Could be in here. That was my scoop. I'm gonna keep digging because I know it was there. It was a good that was a good hit. in there. It's in the scoop. Hopefully it's not small. Oh, there it is. It's a coin. It's a dime. Alright, so we're on the board with something. We'll bag that. Fill this in. This is a nice looking little spot right here. There's like a little washout in the sandbar. But we got a little while yet for low tide, so I'll wait until the water goes down in here. It'll be easier to work it. Anyways, let me fill this in and keep going. Eighteen, nineteen, and I can see it. I don't know if you can see it. Give it a little wash here. Gray matter. Four ounce and a 
two and a half. I'll take it. Oh, we can use those. <laughs> can you use them? Yeah, thanks. Yep. Oh, interesting. So it finds all sorts of metal, right? Oh, yeah. What, what is the most interesting thing you found? I'll be right back. Eight, nine right here. Yeah, I gave that girl those fishing weights because they're fishing and they lost a few earlier today. Those weren't them, but helps them out. It's still here. It's over here. It's in there. I thought I heard it click. Could be a shell though. Oh, there's a lot of shells here. What do we have? Okay, it's it's got to be in with these shells. Oh, I see it. Old crusty pull tab. All right, let me bag it and fill in my little hole here. And keep on going. Tide's still going out, so this little swale will drain as we go. Uh-oh, he's sneezing. I gotta get out of here. Very few targets here. Uh, it's mainly because I don't know if you can see if this is tipped up high enough. But this is like private homes, you know, there's not a lot of people use these beaches when it's busy. It's just open today, I guess, because of the small parking area. There's not much to find. But I'm gonna keep looking. There's bound to be a few things down here. If nothing else, more fishing weights. All right, let me keep going. Nineteen twenty could be a penny or something. I don't know. It's in the scoop. Something. I don't know if that's a coin. It's really crusty and bumpy. I'd say it is, yeah, it's a zinc, a zinc penny. All right, let's keep on looking. In the pouch with it. Let me fill this in and keep looking around here. Twenty-nine thirty. that's the best sound and signal we've had all day. Sounds like a quarter. There it is, I just seen it roll out. It's round. It's been out here quite a while. I'm pretty sure it's a quarter. I think we're up to like 36 cents now. Cash days. Oh no, that cash days was a couple of weeks ago. All right. That's it. Let me keep going a little further. This is kind of interesting. Looks like kind of a square timber. It's 
got a got a hole through it. Looks like it's been chopped in there, like it was a squarish hole or something. That's probably from an old shipwreck. There was a lot of them on these beaches. Pretty cool piece of wood. Anyway, there's no. I don't hear any spikes in it, so let me keep going. Doesn't sound great, but there's something here. So we'll see what it is. I'll go a little bit deep. I want to snap my handle off. Okay, it's in here. I don't see it. It says it's right there. It is. Let's wash it and hope it's not something small. Huh. That's another coin. Really corroded coin. I suspect they're all just crusty zinc pennies. Yeah, I can see the copper on the side there. All right, we'll bag it. Let's keep looking. I'm doing this little bit of a swale here. There's just very few targets on this beach. Let me do a little bit more. Twenty-three, twenty-four. Could be a copper penny. Could be a dime. I don't know. It's still there. It's in the scoop. Should be right here. Still there. Oh, sticky. All right, let's just wash it in here. I see a coin. That's a dime stuff cleaning off of it. Clad, I believe. We'll bag it. All right, we've gotten uh, a couple of coins today. Not much. All right, let's keep keep looking. Doesn't sound very good and it looks really deep, but I'll put a few scoops on it just because we haven't had anything much to dig today. Be nice to find something good. Oh, come out of there. Eighteen, nineteen in this clump here. It's in there. Let's wash it off. I hear something. There you go. Some gray matter. I thought I'd get more of this today. 
Although I gave them other pieces away. I'll bag this one. Let's keep on looking. Another 22. I hear it. It's a coin. Another old crusty dime. Yeah, it's clad, I believe. All right, we'll bag it. All right, let me fill this in and keep on going. Very faint. Doesn't sound great, but it's it's deep, so. We'll put a few scoops on it and see if it doesn't sound better. hear it anymore so maybe it's in oh, I see it I see something right there and that's it another coin that's a copper penny I believe just by the weight of it I don't know we'll clean it up later yeah, there you go. There's an Abe. Memorial. We'll bag it. All right, let me fill this in and keep on looking. Got a little ways. Got a little more of this to do right here. Let's keep going. 18 to 20 deep. This could be a fishing weight. Yeah, I think we might have got it on one. Yeah, it's in here. Still there. Yeah, it's right in here. Shells. I didn't get it. Oh, I think I see it there. It looks like a penny. Oh, it's not. It's a it's a car key or a house key actually. It looks like That's been out here a while. key to success. I'll have to save that. Alright, let's keep going. Another faint, deep target here. 
10, 12. It's very deep. Going by my indicator anyway. All right, now I don't hear it, so he must have moved it. Get it in that scoop. It's in here. Right there. That's a really crusty zinc penny, I would say. Jumper. Real bag it though. Well, we finally found some targets on this beach. But I had to wait for the tide to go all the way out too. I don't know if we've got enough to bother with a wrap up. We may do one just to chat about things. I don't know. Let's keep looking. Alright, I am going to wrap it up here. Uh, not too many targets today, so I, I don't even think I'm going to bother with a wrap-up. We had a few coins and a couple fishing weights, but just not anything worthwhile. It's so hard to pick a beach to go to because most of them, the the, uh, especially the popular ones, all of the parking is closed off. You can't go there. And if you drive down the coast, you'll see a couple of these little spots where they have the parking is available. But there's only like four parking spaces. So to find one that's... Uh... Yeah, it's iron. To find one with an empty spot is tough. So we ended up here and... I don't want to come back to this beach. But anyways, yeah. I hope I can put a video together for you. If not, you'll, like I say, have to bear with me a little bit here with this uh, virus nonsense going on with this beaches being closed. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit the like button and subscribe and all that stuff. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.